Hello everyone, this is Thunderbob, and tonight I'm checking out a new game. This is Ever Forward. This is by Panthea Games. They've put out a couple of recent popular indie games. My time at Porsche uh, among them. really really love the art style like, very like, so bright and colorful no idea what's going on though reminds me of that game from a few years ago maybe a year or two ago rhyme I played a little bit of it, but uh, didn't get very far. But the style in that one I also really enjoyed. Okay, am I playing? I am playing. I love the transition where like you can't even tell, you know, if you're where you don't know for a second if you're playing or not. There's some moments in The Last of Us where I'm like, oh wait, the cutscene ended. So, right now I'm using a keyboard and just using WASD and the mouse. I gotta jump. Seems to be it. Looks like I should go this way. I can't go in the water. Is it? It's a tree. Whoa. I still have no idea what's going on. But I'm liking it. And what is the cube thing? It kind of reminds me of um, Phantasm. Like, one of the blades gonna pop out of it and start killing people. Or maybe like control with that like astral plane kind of place. It's very trippy. I don't want to let that thing see me. She automatically moves more quietly around them. Hold R to set a checkpoint. F to return to your checkpoint. Now that's an interesting save mechanic. So if I hit F, that's clever. Or maybe that's not a save mechanic. Maybe that's a part of the. Uh, Puzzle solving. Oh. At the right time, run into the corner and stay against the wall. Think over here. I don't think I'm gonna make it. They got me. to the corner and stay against the wall. Maybe I need to start further away because I'm like so slow when I'm, when I'm near the bot. Let's try this. Okay, now I got a cube thing. What do I do with this?
I kind of wish there was a button for the, um, the slow down and speed up, because, like, in that case, I had to run far away from the thing. Do I need that cube over here? Oh, wait, wait, I got it. Wait, I don't bring it with me. Okay, what am I doing wrong? So I take this up. Oh. Oh, that's not. That was easier than I thought it was. I thought I was supposed to use the rewind mechanic. This is a conversation I have with my daughter like every morning. It sucks. I know those feels. Wait, you gotta wash your face before you can go on a swing? Is that like a Japanese thing? I love it seems very seamless, like there's not any loading or anything. Like the, the presentation and uh, stuff like are really well put together. That's where I came from, right? Yeah, that was the... Okay. I'm curious. So I think there is an English uh, dub. I know some people probably only want to play that way. I don't really mind, like, but I want to see how good how good it is. Oh, here's the controls. Jump, save, fall back, call your flying dude. So there's some flying segments, maybe. Okay. I was curious because the trailer had English um, voice acting, so I don't know if that was just for the trailer, but for those people that, that care, there is English voice acting. At least that the setting make, makes me think there is. Hey, cube. Okay, so that's, that's the thing I can't move fast around. I'm liking the music too, it's kind of like this somber, like, what is that? Oh, is that my save? Yeah. So that's nice, it auto saves you in case you screw up, probably.
I gotta do something here, right? What is it? Q is the call your dude. No wait, do I need to get that thing back somehow? Or can I get another Q? Oh! Hurry! I'm a genius, guys. <laughs> Next, we just need to. Uh, call received from National Science Lab. Hello? Hmm. Right. Alright. Be right there. Maya, I'm sorry. Mom has to go. I know. I'm sorry, but I know you'll be okay without me. Okay. I'm guessing that this uh, developer is probably um, Japanese or Chinese, and like the English may be the secondary language. Like the Chinese, I feel bad that I don't know if it's Chinese or Japanese, but it actually sounded a little more natural, um, even though I couldn't understand it. Press Q. Oh. I can fly. Right. I like my little flying robot thing. Is it like unlimited? My little robot guy is awesome. Okay. What was the throw button? Distract it, maybe? Go, 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 go. My companion cube. Eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. love the the graphics and like how everything animates it's really cool like it's not super like polygon heavy but it's like very stylized and like a, like a cartoon style can go this way I think my daughter would, would get a kick out of this. I think I'll probably have to play some of this with her. Like, I don't know that any of the games I've played, you play as like a little girl, and she would probably love this. 
It's just like so peaceful. Like, feels like this is uh, not gonna have like a lot of, looking at the controls at least. There's no like attacks, anything that I can see. It's like most like puzzles and like kind of just a chill, like I just want to unwind at the end of the day or play something with my daughter. Oh, and then it gets all freaky deaky. I don't think I'm supposed to go in there. Maybe I am. Hey, cube. Where am I supposed to go? Can you fly me around? You can. I'm kind of confused about like, is that island like a hub world and you, you take it to different puzzles? Oop, I got the jump there. I did not. Oh, you can save your progress. Okay. Uh, okay. I feel like the timing on the jump could be slightly better. Can I push this there? No, I'm a little girl, that's dumb. So you can do, like, the puzzles in whatever order you want, it seems. What? That's the same thing I did last time. I wish it went the other way quicker. It's just a little too long. Especially when it's pretty easy to fail. Got it, that's it. But what do I do with this? Okay. Uh, it looks like it's going like all the way. Maybe I have to throw this thing. Get to that thing. I'm not sure if I hit what I needed to. God darn it. I feel like I, I was supposed to hit that like yellow circle or yellow square. <laughs> you know what I mean. kind of crazy to me like even these smaller indie games it's getting to the point where they can have like you know just beautiful um you know almost like i wouldn't quite call it pixar but like close to that like uh well, it didn't do anything can i get another cube Wait a minute. Idea. Go! Go! You're so slow! I feel like that may not have been the right way to do it, but maybe it is. So, what does that uh, actually get me? Cool received. Hello? Yes, here too. Okay, no problem. What about the LSL? Of course, I know we have a limited capacity for LSL production. Let's talk about that Attention, in a meeting, alright? Now, any and all outside activities are forbidden without exception. However, do not panic. 
necessities will be delivered directly to every house via the national package tunnel system in accordance with the ages and the number of family members present per household. Indoor center heating systems will be on 24-7, free of charge. Above all else, it is imperative that we all remain calm. So I'm not sure still if this is supposed to be like, you know, something in a little girl's mind, or if, like, did some disaster happen and this is like a post-apocalyptic thing? Is this a puzzle? Oh, wait, no, come back. That's a cool way to get around the level. Oh, come back, cube. I wish it was a little faster, though. Why didn't the other one work? So how do I get over there? Can I just walk around it? So there's a cube over there. Okay, so that brought the cube out. See, that's what the last puzzle. I never even used that that like pressure plate. I feel like I there's no way to walk around it. I don't have anything to distract it. if the saving mechanic would be very useful here. Guess you won't walk any closer to the edge than that. Hermit. Okay, so when you call him, he ends the puzzle. I feel like I'm missing something obvious. This like, butcha. No, this is not that kind of game. I can't push this thing. I don't have anything to throw. Let's see if I hug this wall. I'm gonna try to make a hard right and get behind this thing when the laser fires, maybe. No. I'm at a loss at how this puzzle works. Wait, I have a jump, but it's, I'm not gonna be able to jump across there. Am I? No. All right. Well, let's let's move on to a different puzzle. I don't have the skills for that right now. What's that? That's just a rock. Can I go to that thing? Or is that just like... No, there's like a barrier. I'm not getting any further. So I did the puzzle over there, right? Is there another one? That's where I started, right? And then I did that thing. And then I came over here. Okay, so that was the end point of the puzzle. And I, it seems like this is the only one I can do. Hmm. 
maybe the save mechanic. Alright, you can't like save while you're running. Can I walk real slow? Right there is where we're at. Uh, jump! They didn't teach me anything that I'm forgetting already, did they? That only gives you one companion cube at a time. So if I make noise, it turns around. I wonder... I think I know what to do now. I'm gonna get right behind it. Do a little jump. Uh, that didn't work either. Can I maybe make it shoot its laser over here? Okay, okay. Oh, when you load, it resets everything. Hmm. So I can make it look over here. Okay, so that... Okay... So, remember it said when when it, like, notices things, its range gets bigger? So I, I give it a, to where it noticed the cube dropping over here. That's a little... Obs I don't know, obscure? A little... I could use, like, a little bit of a hint on that one. Maybe I'm just dumb. still busy. Can you read for a little longer? But I... <sighs> All right. Good girl. Mommy and Daddy are busy. Yes, I've finished the prototype. But even if it works, we still have another problem. We need to get people to the factories, and all transportation is down. So, like, I'm feeling this is like a sci-fi story underneath, but also like a story of a mother and a, a daughter. Oh, I cured, like, the corruption, maybe? Okay. That's a cool fact. We did it! It kind of feels like a look like Alice in Wonderland-ish. I know that's a little cliche comparison, but uh, like a, through the looking glass. I think I might stop now. I just wanted to kind of get a feel for the start of the game. I don't want to dig too deep in it tonight. I don't have enough time to beat it, I don't think. Um, and I kind of want to let my daughter see some of this. I think she'll enjoy it. So um, maybe I'll do a video with her, her reaction. She's uh, 
She's like three and a half. I don't think she'll understand the puzzles, but I think she'll love seeing the little girl run around this bright, colorful world. But I'm impressed with it so far, other than that one puzzle I was stuck on. But you need difficult puzzles. Hey, it's a, like an acorn. Can I throw it? Interact. Oh, okay, so E throws it. Oh, is that a squirrel? You have collected some leaves. They will be helpful in your puzzle. Okay. So I feel like there's like maybe an overworld puzzle kind of thing. Kind of like, what was that game? Uh, Witness? From a few years ago? But maybe I'm reading too much into that. So I think this must be the next puzzle. Let's just, let's just go in and see. Ooh, scary. All right, I'm gonna stop there before I get stuck on another puzzle. Um, I will probably do another video. I don't know if I'll stream the whole game, but, but maybe I'll do a review if I manage to beat this thing, or at least with my daughter's uh, reaction. Um, this 30 minutes I really enjoyed. Uh, it's a, a really cool experience so far. Uh, the style, the graphics, the music. Um, it's, this type of story isn't told that frequently in gaming, like a, a mother and a daughter and, you know, whatever they're going through, their connection. We could use more unique stories, I think, in gaming. I'd like my daughter to be able to see more unique stories. Um, I haven't gotten far enough to really know how good the puzzles are. That really, I think, is what dictates if these type of games are good or not. Um, but so far, I've enjoyed it. So, if you're into puzzle games, if you like the aesthetic, the art, the setting and stuff, yeah, give this a try. I think you might enjoy it. I think it's only, right now it's 10% off, I think, with the release. It's like $13.99 instead of $15. So, it's not a big investment. And with Steam, you can always refund things if, if you're not, not into it. Uh, but, yeah, again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, uh, this whole playlist is all about new, unreleased, uh, unreleased early access or or new releases um, and check out some others if, if you like this one uh, I've also got some VR content on my channel and even some retro games I'm into arcade gaming and I've got a physical arcade unit in my house so um, yeah again give me a subscription if you want no commitments there's no ads i'm not making money off this i really just enjoy sharing uh, my game time so thanks for watching have a great night everyone